In this video, I'll be discussing the team news and predicted lineups for Arsenal and Leicester City ahead of the game, obviously on Saturday. I did the, did the match preview, and um, make sure you check that out. Um, and uh, yep, yeah, let's get straight into it. Starting off with the Arsenal side of things, um, and to be honest, some good news, but there is quite a lot, which obviously isn't great. But you know, more positive stuff than negatives. And um, starting off with David Rai, because of course against Bolton he didn't play. And then um, Arteta said he doesn't know if he's going to play for the weekend. We got an update and he got asked on the chances if he's going to make it. And he said we have to wait 24 hours to see if he's looking good or not that good. Um, and whether he actually wants a risk game. He said it's not about taking a risk. It's about the player being fit and available or not. We have, When we have clarity for Leicester, which is the main thing, we are thinking about obviously... Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're, when we're thinking about it at the moment, um, we'll make a decision tomorrow. So he's not saying that it's a risk or not. It's just whether he's fit. So he's saying they have 20... So it must be close but he's saying it is 24 hours and they ju literally just have to wait and see if he's going to make the game or not and of course he was asked yet again though if he's actually a doubt for tomorrow against Leicester he simply said yes so he is a doubt which means um obviously looks like he may not play and it may be, may be a more likely chance of him not playing than it is playing and um, of course David Rai is very important and been great this season but at home against Leicester we should be able to you know get past it with Neto and goal it's a Premier League goalkeeper so I think we should be okay with Neto and goal anyway but yeah looks like it won't be long if David Rai is out and if he is out shouldn't be too much of a problem because it is a goalkeeper but listen he's been very good really hope it isn't too bad and if he is okay for tomorrow perfect but of course just have to wait and see so update on Rai looks like it's you know they have 24 hours they're gonna assess him and um, wait and see how bad or good it is so literally you have to wait and see and it'll be a bit of a surprise if he plays tomorrow i guess but then we have neto um, and yeah moving on uh, he was asked about timber and uh, ben white's availability and he said jurian was able to take part in training today so that's good news he will be available so yeah he will be available in the squad and ben hopefully as well so obviously more confident on jurian timber saying that he's actually trained he's took part in training um, and it looks like he should hopefully make the squad so it, well, from what he's saying it looks like timber should be okay and he's saying ben white should hopefully be okay as well but more hopeful on ben white so have to wait and see so it looks like jury and timber is more likely to make it but hopefully they're both in the squad but yeah some good news there looks like those two it's not going to be significant absences and obviously a little bit short with some injuries so looks like those guys will be back especially jury and timber and um, and obviously that's excellent news and um, some more good news actually about Mika Marino he got asked on his progression and said tomorrow against Leicester is too soon the next week we will see he had partial training today he's been working so hard and it is looking good and um, it is about the healing of that bone and obviously how mature that is to expose him to contact so um, obviously Mikel Arteta being very positive there saying he's actually took part in training so listen excellent news and um, apparently he even hinted that he could be okay for next week but maybe more likely after the international break so listen great progress on Mikko Marino of course got super unlucky with that injury straight away eh, on the shoulder but looks like he's progressing really well and um, you know the ball the bone is healing um, and obviously it eh, looks like he, he could be back any set well not any second because obviously he won't be available for Leicester and um, but obviously he's back in training doing little parts here and there looks like he'll do more training and I, I don't know if he'll be available for the Champions League or even Southampton so I still think he'll be you know out until the international break and then obviously maybe away against Bournemouth when we come back that's when he should hopefully be in the squad so listen that's good news but listen the fact that he's already started training is excellent news he's an important player and um, even though he's not really played but just that profile is very important and i'm really looking forward to seeing Mikel marino so excellent news looks like he's progressing really well and um, not available for leicester maybe could make the squad against psg or southampton but have to wait and see if that happens but should you know it looks very very likely he'll be back after the international break but could even make a squad before that but excellent news on Mikel marino looks like you know he, he's progressing very well which is good to see um, an update Takahiro Tomiyasu on his availability he said that he had partial training today and he looked good he's progressing really well and he's a little bit behind Mikel obviously Mikel Marino but we don't know with Tommy because he's another one that pushes every single day he's in a good place now I think so obviously Tomiyasu missed preseason, missed you know lots of the season and um, back in partial training which is good um, and you know again probably won't be in the squad against Leicester might make um, obviously the squad maybe in next week but again looks like another one which will be after the international break um, and have to wait and see and um, it'll be interesting to see if he goes on international duty with J Japan because he's been criticised with that so have to wait and see um, and yeah but it looks like he'll be back after the international break and might need a few training sessions to get up to speed because remember he didn't even have a pre-season but very good squad player and let's hope he will be back soon but listen little update on him and um, 
Obviously, he's okay, it looks like. Um, and finally, on Miles Lewis Skelly, obviously, he had to come off against, obviously, Bolton. Um, and, you know, I had to wait and see. But Michael Arteta said he's fine. He was cramping, but he has no issues. So, a little update on Lewis Skelly. He's completely fine, which is great. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he's in the squad or, you know, I don't, I don't think he starts. But on the in the squad will be, will be nice. But, yep, he's perfectly fine. Very good news there um, on Lewis Skelly. So, you listen, quite a lot there, which, you know, when there is a lot of news, it's not really great. Um, but most of it's fine. David Wright is a doubt. Ben White and Timber look okay. Marino's progressing well. Same with Tommy Yasu and Lewis Gelly's fine. So really there's a lot of news but most of it is pretty positive. So main doubt is David Wright so I have to wait and see. So you know taking all that into account this is the lineup I've gone with here. I've actually gone with Neto and goal and I don't know if he's gonna you know is he gonna risk David Wright kinda? Is he gonna be available? It'll be interesting but either way listen obviously Wright has been great and he's still important but at Leicester at home we should be okay without David Wright in my opinion but listen if Wright is okay he'll play but if not looks like Neto could get his first start and obviously he's you know he couldn't play in the cup because he's cup tied but obviously in the league can't play against Bournemouth because um, it's his lone club but Leicester should be fine so have to wait and see if he brings in Neto and um, and he could get his first start. Uh, back four went with Calafiori, Gabriel, Saliba, Timber. Um, looks like Timber is slightly ahead of Ben White at the moment, fitness-wise as well. And he played well against City, so I think Timber will, will um, start at right back, rightly so. Gabriel Saliba, of course, and Calafiori looks like he'll uh, retain his place, obviously, um, a little bit defensively against Savio, he struggled, even though Savio's very good, but listen, scored the great goal, and I think it would be, and he was great midweek, so I think, why not, he's getting fitness, and I think, you know, start him against, um, obviously, Manchester, it's not Manchester City, Leicester City, if obviously he's okay, and um, if Ben White's back, he could move Tim Bad back to left back, and Ben White right back, have to wait and see, but yeah, so I think he'll go with the back, that back four, and um, midfield three, Barty, Rice and Trossard, Trossard's now back of course, back from suspension from uh, the Man City bit, um, I think he'll stick with, I think he'll bring Party back in after resting him against Bolton, Rice will play, um, and you know, people have been looking at Ethan and Wanneri, you know, he was great midweek, and listen, I would really like him, like him to start, I really would not be against it, but I think Arteta will want experience, I think he doesn't want to take too many risks, and I think he will go with the experience over youth, so you just listen, I would love him Wanneri to start, he's a good option off the bench, and if he does start, I'll be very pleasantly surprised, but Trossard in that position, have to wait and see how he does, but I think he'll go um, prefer Trossard. Um, in front three, I went with Martinelli, Havertz, and Saka. Uh, Saka will definitely start, of course. Havertz will uh, keep his play score in midweek, so hopefully he can get a couple more goals. Um, the left hand side is a bit debatable. If in one area starts, you can start Trossard there, or you, you can even play Sterling, who was great midweek, so lots of options. But Martinelli, I think he'll, you know, hopefully he can get maybe get a goal or assist here. And um, Mikko Marino being back will help him, but yeah. I think Martinelli, he was rested midweek, worked hard against City, um, and yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if Martinelli starts, but I don't mind if Sterling starts either one, it'll be interesting, but I think he'll stick with Martinelli. So you can see the usual team, uh, I think it's really the same team against City, uh, apart from Neto in goal, so have to wait and see. Um, but I don't think he'll make too many changes. And I think lots of people got there, so hopefully it'll be a reasonably fresh team as well. Um, and yeah, lots of stuff on Arsenal there, you can see. But yeah, moving on to the Leicester side of things. Um, not too much for them. Obviously, their manager, Steve Cooper, did his press conference on Thursday and was talking about their you know, situation and said, we had a few bumps and bruises from the game against Everton and a few of the lads didn't quite make it to be available for the game on Tuesday um, where they went through on penalties. Uh, everybody got through Tuesday's game okay, though, with the boys that have been still up for a little while, Vestergaard is still not available for the weekend, so as we were, there's no change from the last Premier League game, so I think Vestergaard's been out for a few weeks now, um, and it's not too much of a change, uh, you know, no new injuries for them, so I guess that's good news, and yes, yeah, so listen, opposite to us, they don't really have too many injury concerns, um, at least, you know, new ones at the moment, so from Everton, looks like they still have the same team available, which is, I guess, good news for them, um, and for the lineup, I've gone with this, uh, Hermanson in goal, obviously that's usually the number one keeper, back four of Faze, Akoli, uh, Christian Christiansen, and James Justin. James Justin was a good player. I liked him, actually. Um, and yeah, I think he'll uh, go with that back four, um, usually what he's done. Um, midfield uh, three, I've kind of mixed it up, obviously. I've gone with Skip, Winks, and Canuse. Obviously, I believe it was Ndidi, different Ndidi, not Wilford Ndidi, who started next to Winks, and Skips was on the bench last week. So, um, you know, he could do that, but I think away from home at the Emirates, I think he might want to go a little bit more reserved and um, put Skips and Winks, kind of like two DMs in there, that's what I personally think he'll do. Maybe even in DD instead of Canoes, but have to wait and see. But 
I think uh, Oliver Skip will come in and um, yeah, and I think he'll play alongside Wince considering he's away at the Emirates. I think Canus could be in front of them. Um, I went with Mavadidi on the left. He's obviously, you know, probably their best winger. Um, I went with Ayu, Jordan Ayu on the right. It could be Deckard over Reed. He's not really started too much and he could be a decent outlet. So I would not be surprised if Deckard over Reed starts, but I've stuck with Jordan Ayu. And of course, Jamie Vardy up front. Um, arguably their biggest threat very you know you know um aged brilliantly so far only 37 and yeah you know very big threat i'm confident our center backs would be able to handle him i have to obviously wait and see um but yeah jimmy vardy we all know he's a very good player and um, and yeah can still score a goal or two can't he so yeah i think that's what what he'll go with and i think that's the team obviously some threats mavadidi and um, vardy when you when you look at that defense on paper you're thinking we should hopefully do well there there will be a low block in my opinion to dm so it will be a bit difficult but on paper we should be beating that although they do have threats and again no game in the Premier League is easy so we still have to get the job done of course um, and yeah listen just as a little summary of course Leicester um, they're going to be in a low block in my opinion they're going to try play on the counter and they're going to be desperate to get the meet you know if they can win at the end it's up being fantastic for them and um, and have to wait and see what they can do uh, but for us listen and um, looks like you know we're getting some players back which is good the only you know Marino progressing Tommy Asu progression all the gods still a while are out and we're getting some good players back Ryan Maynard might not start in goal have to wait and see but you know whether he starts or not it shouldn't be a game changer we know we shouldn't be conceding 15 odd shots to Leicester or anything so hopefully Neto will do a job and you know be um show himself to be a competent number two have to wait and see um, and yeah have to wait and see who will play playing goal but other than that even though you know could M1 every start could Lewis Skelly start I would like it I don't think it'll happen but they're gonna be fully against it so obviously I think there'll be quite a bit of experience in the lineup and listen we need, we need, to, we need to get the job done as I said and um, obviously Man City they play at Newcastle tough game but we need to get our uh, game done as well um, and Leicester at home we think hopefully we can score a few goals as well but the main thing is to get the job done and hopefully get the three points and yeah we have a few hit home games in the row before the international break and hopefully we can end on three wins have a break and then you know regroup and get some players back so let's hope we can win against Leicester I'm sure that's what Arteta is mainly going to be focused on and um, but yeah that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below about everything I've discussed and um, the lineup do you agree with me do you think maybe Arteta may play some youth let me know your thoughts on that or do you think Lyle will be okay as well and um, so yeah let me know your thoughts on the team news predicted lineups and um, make sure you check out the match preview as well obviously discuss less than more detail discuss the game in more detail so let me know your thoughts on that also check out the live match review which will come after the game let's hope it's a positive one as well and um, but yeah as for this one leave a like on it if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one